Hello, and today we're going to talk about wingspan, but in particular, because I've already done a video on wingspan, we're going to talk about the European expansion. Um, I have enhanced my base copy of wingspan as well by printing these 3D uh, birdhouses. So instead of cubes, you can use these rather cute birdhouses, and that's a great thing. These are free to download. You just need different colours and print, and as you can see, they, they've come out pretty good. They're not 100% perfect. Uh, if you've got a resin printer, obviously you can print them in different coloured resins or print and paint them. But these are just printed in straight up PLA on my uh, Creality printer. Anyway, let's have a look at the European expansion. As you can see, it requires the base game. It comes with 81 new bird cards, 15 egg miniatures, which are purple, 5 bonus cards, 4 automata, and a new tray score and rule book with five new gold tiles which is great extra food tokens and of course a reference tile to help you with all of this and this is the first expansion and of course the really good thing about this is because the base game is effectively american birds that's great for the american market but for us over in europe it's quite nice to now have a load of birds we'd actually recognize rather than maybe the more exotic uh, foreign birds upon opening the box we've got the rule book here which is in that sort of um, linen paper We've got a little couple of trays by the looks of it with some lids, rather beautiful purple eggs, a couple of packs of cards, the score pad, an extra baggie, a new tray which is great for keeping your expansion separate and then yeah just the one token tray with your new goals your extra food and a nice reference card. Now these new goals, so um, in your personal supply, um, what's that, any color type of food? Have to double check that one. Um, have a bird worth four victory points, have a load of birds in one row, have some brown powers and have birds with tuck cards. So I'm guessing this is if you've got the most of that. Anyway, the tokens punch out pretty nicely. You could replace these with 3D tokens, but to be honest, I'm quite happy with these, although I think I have seen some plastic tokens which I might be tempted with, uh, with nice glossy, high quality picture on. So yeah, I'm going to punch all these out and put them in that spare baggie. Now looking at the rule book, of course, it's the first expansion release. It's got a nice breakdown of the components. And when we open it up, um, it's got some changes to the setup, uh, which is interesting. Uh, it looks like we might have some new bird powers as well. We've got the end of round goals, so food in supply, the number of food tokens in your personal supply, birds card in hand, birds with o worth over four points, birds with no eggs, birds in a row, filled columns, brown powers, white and no powers, birds with tuck cards and food cost of played birds. So that's the various end of round goals we've got with, I believe, the base game and the expansion. So the bird powers, we've then got a breakdown here with um, the parrot crossbill, the honey buzzard, the Hawfinch, Bullfinch and European Bee Eater, the Black-Headed Gull, Common Kingfisher, beautiful bird, Eurasian Jay, another beautiful bird, red Back Shrike, Little Owl, European Robin, Eurasian Tree Sparrow, Eurasian Golden Oriole, White-Backed Woodpecker, Black Woodpecker, the Tits, Griffin Vulture, Carrion Crow, uh, Nutwatch, Magpie, Nutcracker, Blue Throat, Common Nightingale, and then we've got some egg laying powers, which is the Dunnock, uh, another interesting bird, that. Uh, uh, lark, uh, Golden Eye, Cuckoo, White Throat, Red Star, Partridge, Falcon, and then card drawing powers. So a Diver, a Dipper, a Stork, a Heron, a Bittern, a Warbler, a Grebe, and a Petrel. Then we've got some flocking powers, so lots of nice new powers here. Chaffinch, Chiff Chaff. Swan, Ruff, Crow, Flamingo. Mm, okay, yeah, I forget you get flamingos in Europe, but yes, you do down south, don't you? Uh, the Gold, the Swift, the Sparrow, the Starlin, the Collared Dove, Goldfinch, Bunting, then some Hunting and Fishing Powers, so Sparrowhawk, yeah, that makes sense, Goshawk, Eagle, uh, Buzzard, Kite, uh, get a lot of those in sort of mid to north Wales, uh, the Hobie, Harrier, and the Gannet. And then we've got some various random powers, so Longtailed Tit, uh, a lovely, beautiful bird, at that common blackbird, lovely singing all night long at the moment here in Europe. Uh, the roller, the heron, the woodpecker, the goose, the warbler, 
the Moorhen, Goldcrest, Tree Creeper, Yellowhammer, Warbler, Wagtail, Not Godwit, Nuthatch, uh, Owl, Bustard, uh, Turtle Dove, and then some nice new Automata for solo play. And then some credits with a, a beautiful piece of artwork there. So let's have a quick look at the bird cards. Now when opening up the card packs, you've got uh, two reference cards, some new goal cards. So Sisters and Scientist, Behaviorist, Diet Specialist, Bird Bander, Ethologist, Ort, which are oh, that be the Automata, and the Life Fellow. So there's those. And then of course we've got all the bird cards. So hopefully you've got these all the same way round. So the eagle, a few of those, harrier, buzzard, red kite, hobie, goldfinch. I mean, that's a lovely bird, isn't it? So 23 centimeter wingspan worth six victory points, a basket and can hold four eggs. And once between turns, when another player tucks a card, you can tuck a card. Oh, that's pretty strong that I have to say that's good um, so yeah common dove I uh, get quite a few of those in my garden actually beautiful simple little bird um, starling actually beautiful bird with a weird cackling sort of sound swift nice little visitor the sparrows sadly quite rare in bits of Britain these days the flamingo yeah okay so yeah it gives you a nice range here shows you where it is so it's really cool because you get you know, average wingspan, the sort of range, and a little bit of a rough idea of how it nests and all that. So a little bit of education. Oh, the common goal, effectively. Um, nice. Chaffinch. Chiff Chaff. Um, obviously named because it's got a sort of a chip chaff, chiff chaff sort of sing, song voice. Um, yeah, I used to get a lot of those in West Wales. Uh, woodpecker. Lovely bobbin flight on those. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's really nice to have birds that I know stuff about. Um, the Nutwatch, a very interesting little sort of tree creeping bird. Um, yeah, the Shrike, the Kingfisher. Yeah, lovely. I mean, lovely artwork. The cards feel lovely in your hand. And I like the fact there's a bit of educational element to this really good game. So, yeah, great. Now, they are talking about doing, I think... Is it a Eurasian or Australian expansion set? And that might be interesting. Oh, I haven't seen one of those. That's a rather pretty bird. Um, yeah. Anyway, lots and lots of cards, lots of variety. Now, obviously, you can play this as a effectively a standalone expansion, um, as long as you've got the base set for the extra bits you need to actually play the game. Uh, but what you can do, you can also mix these in with the American birds if you really want. But because you've got this tray, which was actually surprisingly hard to open, um, you can actually, as I say, play European or base American birds as long as, as I say, you've got the rule book and the extra components that are in the base game. Now, I'm not sure if these have any particular mechanical effect in the game. Uh, so far, the different coloured eggs mean nothing. I uh, would be interested in maybe if there's a goal that's you know, have the most separate colour eggs, have the most same colour eggs, um, which, which could be a, an interesting mix-up. Obviously, with these new ones, so, you know, th these could be quite good. And the percentages, hopefully, are correct, because, um, obviously, there were problems. Now, I have to double-check. Is this maybe a reprint um, to correct the, the faulty um, base set, where the percentage is not actually quite right? And I believe this tiny little icon here indicates that this is an expansion card. So if you do mix in your expansion with your base set, uh, you have at least a chance of pulling them out. And then, obviously with your scoring cards and your automata. Uh, oh, come on, focus. There you go. Um, yeah, good stuff. So there you go. That's a quick look at the expansion. Uh, I love Wingspan. I'm actually hoping to play a bit of it um, sometime in the next week or two. And I've got to debate now. Do I play with the European or the American birds? I think the Europeans are going to win it because, you know, there is something nice about the exoticness of foreign birds. But you can't beat your good old birds that you can see in your back garden or when you're out walking. And of course, you know, that really makes a great connection. And, and with this new extras as well, um, great fun. So I'm probably going to store this in my base box and then store all of this in the expansion box. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that quick look at the European expansion for Wingspan. And yeah, beautiful artwork, of course, as always. And yeah, there you go. Anyway, 
Till the next one, happy gaming.